does the state of Delaware pay for family caregivers? Now listen, if you're in a position where a paid caregiver could be to your advantage, what you need to do is stick around to the end because I'm going to give you everything that you need to know. So what's going on, Facebook? Welcome back to another RAI Live Caregiver Moment. My name is KC. I am the big-hearted caregiver. Uh, what do I do? I help adult children with senior parents to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency called Reliable Aid Inc. Now, if you or anybody in your family could financially benefit from a paid caregiver or being a paid caregiver, what I'm gonna need you to do is just stick around to the end because I got something for you. And uh, if you or anybody else you know would like to work with me personally or get paid as a caregiver, write in the comments, get started, and I'll be sure to get back with you. <clears throat> so, excuse me. The question has come upon me today. A lady asked me, young lady asked me, she said, KC, uh, does the state of Delaware pay for caregivers? Now, it's I'm gonna say yes, but what I'm going to tell you is it's kind of sticky, tricky. And if you're not playing by the game they want you to play by, then it's not going to happen. But if you listen to me, KC, I will get you paid if I can. Now, check this out. I don't know if you'll know it or not, but the relative that you're currently taking care of may be eligible for a paid caregiver under the state of Delaware long-term health care plan. All right? Now, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting lost, uh, you know, or taken to the cold stop nursing home, only be taken care of by strangers because the family members didn't have the time, money, or resources to better be able to take care of them at home. Now, everybody needs to make a living, and providing care can be very time-consuming, making a decent caregiving job just out of reach for most voluntary family caregivers. Um, hmm, interesting, right? Now, what if I told you that it was possible to get paid for the work that you're already doing, caring for your loved ones right now? Well, as I stated earlier, my name is Kion Church. I'm the founder and the administrator of Reliable Aid Inc. And what Reliable Aid Inc. does is we are a personal assistance service agency that compensates family members who have had to leave their personal lives in order to move back home and take care of their aging parents or loved ones. And yes, in many cases, to help them get paid too. Now, today's topic was, does the state of Delaware pay family caregivers? And what I'm going to do for you right now is put together the missing puzzle piece that you need that will allow you to get paid for the caregiving that you're already doing. Now, listen, you may be eligible to be a paid caregiver as a direct care worker is what they really truly call it, uh, to help your loved one out with what's called their activities of daily living. All right. Now. These activities of daily living include, but are not limited to, ambulating, uh, helping them move from one place to another, transferring, helping them move from like a bed to a stretcher, a bed to a wheelchair, wheelchair to a chair, wheelchair to a toilet, or vice versa. Also grooming, which may include such things as helping someone bathe, dress, or shave, or helping them with personal activities that could be difficult like meal preparation and sometimes eating. And I know what you're probably thinking, if this applied to me, I would already have heard about it, right? That's what they all say. But the problem is that many people believe that these caregivers need specific trainings or certifications in order to do the job. And what they do is they exclude themselves right from the start. But nothing could be further from the truth. What Reliable Aid Inc., I don't know if you heard me earlier, what Reliable Aid Inc. does is help family members with distressed loved ones to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency. All right? Now, how the heck do you do that, Casey? Because I think that's awesome. That's what you should have been putting in the comments because that's, that's the most awesome thing I got going on today. Let me share that with you. Reliable Aid Inc. is contracted with Medicaid as a health care service provider. And what do we do? We hire family members just like you to take care of the people that you already taken care of. <sighs> Boom! Mic drop. <laughs> So the social and physical support that you've been providing so far would be your only assignment. The only thing that would change about your daily life is getting more compensation for the care that you're already providing. Really getting any compensation because right now you're a voluntary caregiver and it's nothing wrong with that because we love our family members or else we wouldn't even be doing this. But if I had a chance to make my life and the person who I'm taking care of life just a fraction of a bit better by putting a silver line in, into the game. I'm going to do it. That's just me. But 
I tell everybody all the time, money isn't important. Money is not the most important thing. You know, your family is. And you're taking care of them. You know what I mean? And actually taking care of them has, has caused you to have two jobs. So two jobs, let's get paid for both. And it's, and, it's, and it's not a crime to accept money to take care of your family members. That's actually a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? When my mother was here, if I could have got a paycheck for taking care of her, all the fun things we did, me and my mom hanging out, and I could have got a check for that. I don't know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, type in the comments. That'd be great. I would love that. Let me know. Mm, I got to go, right? Because it's hot in the studio. I changed these lights in here. I can't even really see. It's crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, look, watch out for us um, on YouTube. All right. Miss Williams, how you doing today? Also, check us out on anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. That's the podcast. We try to do that daily. You know, if you got any questions, suggestions, put it in the comments. You know, hashtag where you watching this from. Hashtag this my first time. Hashtag I don't like those white shirts you be wearing, KC. Do what you got to do. Let's get it done. But look, continue to, you know, keep pressing forward for your family because they need you. You know what I mean? Always take care of the people that took care of you. That's your obligation. I'm going to keep it real with you. That's your obligation. But look, don't let anybody shame or blame you to think that taking care of your your parents is a bad thing because we're doing this to get our blessings. You hear me? So I got to go. It's getting hot in the studio. I'm out. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.